What is up YouTube, ABI back with another video. Today we got a, our 2016 Subaru Impreza and our 2023 Hyundai Kona Electric. And we're gonna do a little safety video testing to see if uh, how the car does while driving the car without the key fob. So Tim's gonna have the key fob while I'm driving and we're gonna see if the car just magically shuts off and we're gonna just test it out with the 2023 version. So let's see how safe these modern vehicles really are. Let's get to it. Okay, so we're gonna start my car. We'll be testing my vehicle first. We're gonna ambient lighting. Oh, oh, don't look at this one. <laughs> um, currently, the car is on. I'm gonna give Tim the keys. You're the keys. And then Tim's gonna give me his phone, I guess, right? Yep. Now we're gonna hand the phone over to Dave, and he'll take it from here, and I'll keep the keys out. Access key not detected. He's got my keys. All right, let's see if this thing goes anywhere. Bye, Tim. Guess we'll see what happens. Oh, I should put on my seatbelt first. Access. Key not detected. I just stole this car. Woohoo! All right, we're going pretty far distance now, and the car is still on. I mean, you would kind of expect your car to be on. It's like a little safety thing. Your car's not going to shut off in the middle of traffic. Still working. Pull it in here and turn around and go see Tim. He probably thinks I'm stranded. Drove it. Drive it like you stole it. So it's not telling me my speed. I wonder if I can X out of this. No, I'm pressing all these buttons. Nothing's happening. I can't get that message out of here. But Tim's on this left, so we're going to go meet up with him. And discuss the results. Hey, my keys. Those are my you guys keys. Don't believe it's right here. Still says the keys aren't here though. What if does it know if it's inside? Oh now it went away. <laughs> oh, cool. Well if I take it now. He's far away. And it's it's still okay. Oh, no message yet. Interesting. These are good. Good results. All right, these are good findings. You can, if you see a Subaru, if you see a Subaru on and the driver's not there, you can take it. All there right. There you go. Don't now, tell your insurance company that. No. We're going to test now on the Hyundai. All right, now we have the Hyundai keys. And we're going to test the same exact thing as you guys saw the Super drove just fine. So now what we're going to do is start the Hyundai. We're started. Even though you can't hear it, it started. Now what I'm going to do is give the keys to Dave. Got the keys. And now Dave's going to hand the phone to me, and I'll take you guys with me. So as you can see, it now says the key is not in the vehicle. The beeping has stopped. Dave is over there running with the keys. Now I gotta put the seatbelt on. Now let's see what happens when I drive. It lets me put it in drive. Here I go. It says ready to drive, even though I'm driving already. Okay, there it went away. Here we go. It's letting me drive away. Why is that? I wonder if it's a proximity thing, if maybe when you start the car, it'll, um, you know, if you start the car with the keys and then take it super far away. Because again, with, yeah, look, I'm just driving around the road. I don't have the keys at all. There's no keys here. But yeah, now let's go back and see Dave. I don't know where he turned around. <laughs> maybe I'll turn around here. I'm going to test turning the car off. No, I shouldn't do that. 
I'm going to test turning the car off and then maybe having Dave come get me if it doesn't start. All right, so now I'm going to put the car in park. Turn the car off. Now the car is off. Will it let me start it? Key not detected. It doesn't let me start the car, but it lets you drive with the car. That's good to know. Well, now I'm stranded, and I need Dave to come get me. Here Dave comes with the keys. Here he is. I have to get out. We're stranded. <laughs> We're stranded. But now I wonder if I start it. I start the car with the keys in. All right, now we're going to give Dave the keys. He's going to go drive back home, and then I'm going to try to drive. Okay. Okay? Sure. We'll see you there. See you. So it beeps at me that the key is not in the vehicle. Here Dave goes. You're taking the keys. See ya. There he goes. So I'm going to go, once he goes a little bit further down the road, I'm going to try to go drive away. So that way we'll know if it's a proximity thing or not. Give it another minute. All right. Now he should be far enough away where it's definitely not a proximity thing. Let's put this thing in drive. It does let you put it in drive. And here we go, we're off. That's crazy. The only thing you need is to start the car. Yeah, yeah, seatbelt, I know. The only thing you need is the key to start the car. And then you'll need it again, obviously, to, to start it again. Um, but you could go to work if you forget your key, go all the way to work and just have someone bring you your key before you leave for the end of the day. It's kind of crazy. I actually didn't think that would happen, but let's go meet up with Dave. All right, so what did we learn here? We learned that these cars are pretty safe, if you will. I mean, safe in the fact that the engine won't shut off in the middle of traffic unless you actually turn off the, the engine stop, start button. Uh, but yeah, so when you remove the key fob, the engine will still keep going for as long as it needs to until you turn it off. So um, I guess there's that. So if you guys like videos like these, don't forget to like, subscribe, and just like that, JVI out.